Hey guys, and welcome to another tries video. This is Mercs, and uh, I don't know why we have no sound on the actual start screen here. It's it's very strange. Not sure why. We have sound in the actual game. But anyway, this is a game that I played extensively back in the day. <coughs> I think I put um, pretty much, if I wasn't playing either Columns, uh, Street Fighter, or what was it? I had four games that I used to play the shit out of in the very, very early years. It was Columns, Street Fighter, or Streets of Rage. I was playing this. This is a top-down shooter, and it's brilliant. It's not very long, but it's very, very difficult. Um, there are options, which is nice. You've got original mode and arcade mode, which is interesting. I'm going to do a separate video on each, just because they are quite different. Um, but... I don't know whether to go normal or easy. I don't think it makes too much difference. I think we're going to go for easy just for this video. Now, back in the day, because uh, this isn't the Let's Play, I'm not saying we're going to complete it or anything because it's freaking hard. But back in the day, I did complete this, I think. But coming back to it now, I don't know how I completed it because I was playing it quite a bit yesterday on normal mode. And I tried both modes, and I could get quite far, and almost to the end. And, yeah, it's difficult. But I'm wondering if I drop down to easy for the for the process of this video. I wonder if that's going to make much difference. I did play it on hard mode. And I there, there, is, there doesn't seem to be a lot of difference in the difficulty. But let's go for easy, and we're going to go easy arcade, and I wonder if I can actually complete it. As a skilled professional soldier trained in anti-terrorist tactics, and I cannot read that, that goes way too fast. Government assist, yeah. Basically, you're a mercenary, you're basically Rambo. Go shoot the shit out of everything. And it's got some interesting little quirks to it. Put it that way, which we will get into. It's top down. We actually, you know what? We we kind of look like the guy from um, oh, Universal Soldier. Yeah, remember that? That was cool. We start off with the standard rifle, which is shit. This thing is crap. The enemies continuously respawn. And we have a life gauge, which is nice. So it's not a one-hit death, but it might as well be. And uh, blow the shit out of everything. Collect power-ups. And kill all the dudes. Dudes do respawn endlessly, which kind of sucks. And you don't really get anything for killing them apart from points. I do like the way they hide behind sandbags and there's some interesting set pieces. We also have to collect sandwiches and ham off the floor. We all know from video games that floor ham is best ham. And that restores our health. We can upgrade the character as we go along with weapons and explosives. And we do get... A choice of weapons in this mode. In original mode, it's done in a different manner, but we'll cover that. But I think there's six stages. At the end of each stage, there's a boss. First boss is a Harrier jump jet with frickin' miniguns. And he will literally wreck your shit if you're not careful. But we're just gonna cheese him with the bombs. Because the bosses are ridiculous. They will seriously fuck you up. The music in this game as well is fantastic. We do get a little bonus for our health at the end as well. Landing mission successful. Time to move in. Oh my god, that's burnt into my brain. Time to move in. I do have this game on cartridge. Uh, but it still packs away somewhere. So we're running this on the emulator. I love how destructible everything was as well. It's crazy. Now this gun that we start off with, the rifle, I actually hate it. This is the best weapon in the game, the flamethrower. It's just pretty much insta-kill for all the enemies. It's glorious. That scatter shot ain't too bad either. I might as well pick it up just to show. I mean, if it was up to me, I, I would just stay with the flamethrower because it's just boss. Now look at this. There are vehicles to pick up as well. The vehicles aren't great and they do have... A uh, very limited amount of health, which isn't fantastic. We can pick up medals. Medals in this mode are points. 
in original mode, interestingly enough, medals are money. Yes. But you can see the vehicles don't last very long. We have some floor ham and a floor burger. Floor burgers are God's gift to man. And we've got freaking tanks here as well. These tanks will fuck you up as well. Bear that in mind. Now we only have... I don't know how many lives we have either. I can't remember because it's different. I think we have continues in this mode. In original mode, we have different men. But we'll cover that. Like I say, we'll cover that another time. Uh, health kits, really nice. Health kits give you a shit ton of health, whereas food doesn't really give you that much. The enemy tanks suck because they're so hard to hit. And they really do fuck you up badly. As you can see, you're already dead. But the music in this game is so good. And I'll tell you what, I think graphically and visually it holds up quite well. It actually runs quite nice too. Which, if you remember when we was playing Crackdown the other day, that game lagged like hell. Whereas this runs really well. It does get a little bit slow when there's a lot going on, but it it's not bad. It's, it's acceptable, I would say. Now, I haven't got turbo fire on, which sucks because I've got to keep mashing the button to fire. <coughs> um, there is an option in the actual options to enable that. Now we meet, uh, we reach the second boss. The second boss is like this armored tank thing, and it sucks. I honestly don't really know how you're meant to do these bosses without taking crazy amounts of damage. He's got a freaking flamethrower, and he runs you over. Yeah, I, I don't know. As I say, I know back in the day I completed this game, but. That was a long time ago. <laughs> We're talking 25 years plus. Uh, the bosses always fuck me up. And you also get bonuses for your uh, bombs that you have left over. Enemy tank line broken. Yeah, well, we certainly did. Good thing we've got uh, plenty of clones as well. Although we've only got five clones. Uh, what we've got here, uh, that's the standard rifle, standard rifle's pants, so we're not going to bother with that. These APCs suck dick as well. It's just easier to charge past them, because those missiles will ruin you. Oh nice, life increased. Now you can destroy some enemy weapons, which is nice, <coughs> but... Yeah, it's not wise to rely on that. I don't know if picking up the same weapon twice, if that actually powers your weapon up as well. I don't think it does. I like the variety of maps as well. They're really nice. There's not many of them, but they're all unique. And they all have really unique enemies as well. Which is always fun. It's always nice to see. I mean, the standard enemy grunts are basically just cannon fodder. But it's more the special weapons and things that we have to encounter that do the damage. It's not really the endless hordes of grunts that are going to take you out. Actually, I just remember the boss on this level. The boss on this level sucks. Although those grenades do hurt. Not too bad. That's a grenade launcher. Uh, I'm really not going to pick it up because it's crap. And I do want to see how far I can get. I would like, if I can, to get the flamethrower back. Because it's just, it really is just the best weapon. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Actually get to control this gun turret, which is quite nice. Now the gun turrets actually break down after a while. Which sucks. I guess they run out of ammo. I'm not really sure the science behind it. But you can do an awful lot of damage with it. But the frame rate actually tanks quite badly. And it does look as well like that is the best way to just get swamped by enemies. Also, don't run into rocket launchers, I guess, kids. Really bad move. Now, this boss, I hate. It sucks. And it usually wrecks me. It, oh, I do. Yeah, this thing hurts. This thing really hurts. 
It's got a cannon, which I don't know how to avoid. It's got rockets, which do crazy amounts of damage. And after a while, it will land and unload lots of enemy dudes on you. And then, of course, we die. But we destroyed it. So, hey, fuck you. I can clone. Although, we only have a couple of clones left, I believe. I think we've got two lives left. I got a lot further in this yesterday. Special attack unit, Scorpion, neutralized. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't think there's any way of actually getting more lives. I might be wrong. Yes, the flamethrower. Look at this thing. This thing's just monstrous. Talk about the atrocities of war. This thing is absolutely disgusting. Horrendous. Oh, there's some really bullshit enemies on this level as well. See that? They just kind of like spawn in front of you. And they have some invincibility frames, which sucks donkey dick. But what are you going to do? Got a freaking flamethrower. So I guess it's all fair in love and war, you know. Fuck you, buddy. Getting quite a juicy health bar. Yeah, they kind of like spawn. Get a cheeky little slap on you and then hide again. Kind of getting a little bit of a cannon fodder uh, vibe from this level. Do you remember cannon fodder? The game was fantastic. They never made any new cannon fodder games, which is a shame. I mean, well, actually, that's not true. They, they did, but they were AIDS, so, you know. Now, in this level... We get to ride one of these jet skis. But this ain't your garden variety jet ski. Oh no, this one fires freaking torpedoes. Which I always thought was fantastic. I used to love these. These literally just fire torpedoes up enemies' asses, which is, you know, fantastic. Now, I don't think I ever played this in the arcade, but apparently this was actually... Oh, tell a lie! I'm having a headache with pictures. Maybe I did play this in the arcade. Maybe. I'm, I don't know. I can't confirm nor deny that. We're almost on the boss for this level. You see the levels are quite short. It certainly is possible to memorize this game and, and complete it. But I don't really have the time to play it a thousand times. I probably will though. I'm probably going to play this game a lot. Oh, this boss. This boss sucks so bad. Just mortars you. And once you destroy... Once you destroy, yeah, the, the mortar launcher things. He's got a flamethrower. And that flamethrower does so much damage. And again, I don't really know how you're meant to avoid it. I have no idea. But the, the graphics are so colourful. And they're nicely detailed as well, you know? Really is uh, worth playing. I did have a quick look for some cheats. Mountain pass penetrated. Neutralise enemy HQ. Yeah, I think this is actually the last level. I think. So, I don't know. We're not doing brilliantly, though. I will say that. Ooh, just took a freaking shell to the face. I suppose that's going to fuck anyone's day up, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we just... Look at this! Yeah, we're just getting roasted. I mean, this game... It's one of those games that's just... The whole point of it is to eat your... Your coins in the arcade. And yeah, we get a tank, which is delicious. It's as fun and as good as you'd imagine it to be. But you can't really hit enemies with it. You can hit the big enemies, like the vehicles, and it just causes, like, nuclear explosion. Yeah, you can't hit the infantry with a tank. Which is interesting, actually. Never mind, we're just going to keep rolling through. Fucking this town right up the ass. Ooh. Not bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dudes with rocket launchers! No! Oh, God. Almost. Really? No health? No health for me? Ah, oh, come on game. Give me some health. I need to feel healthy. I'm full of balls. 
full of balls. What the fuck am I even talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I'm full of shrapnel, burns, everything. Oh god. Um. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Tank. Can we kill the tank, please? No. <sighs> well. Well, we seriously got our shit fucked. Yeah, we get. Came second on the scoreboard. You know, I'll take it. Well, I mean, that's basically arcade mode. But then, we have original mode. Which only has normal or hard difficulty. That's what we want. We want rapid on. Rapid is um, auto fire, basically. Or turbo fire, as we used to call it. Uh, so original mode was obviously not available in the arcade. It was only for the home console. The White House has received a report that the government of Quora has secretly developed long-range ballistic missiles, fearing the newly developed strength of... Da -da -da -da, Quora could affect the global balance of power and eventually lead to war. The president has ordered the Mercs, an elite corps of hired soldiers, to take out these missiles. Yeah, um, this is, is similar to arcade mode, but it's remixed. Essentially. Mission 1, Coast. And I love Coast. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I am an absolute sucker for beach levels. Mario, anyone? Mario beach levels? Oh yeah. Now, this diff this is quite different to the arcade mode. As you can see, we have rifle and speed. We collect mercenaries as we go through the game. And collecting the mercenaries is how you switch weapons. They have persistent health and persistent upgrades and they can die. So the only way to obtain new weapons is to obtain new mercenaries. Now, two player in this game is fantastic. You can see now we've actually upgraded, we've got the PAL. The rifle can be upgraded loads. We can also find speed shoes as well, which increase our speed. But every mercenary has his own unique gear. I say unique gear, he has his own weapon and he has his own upgrades. So like if I upgrade the firepower on this merc, it won't upgrade the firepower on the other mercs. So there's a little bit of tactics to it. And these medals, these medals are uh, your money, basically, essentially. I don't know why we're trading medals for, for money. Uh, seems a bit weird, but I suppose if you're out in the field and you've got a pocket full of medals, I can imagine trading them in for grenades and rocket launchers is probably a better idea than carrying them around with you. You know, that just makes sense, I guess. Now, the double cross medals I think are worth quite a lot more. We've already got 13. I love the little details as well. Like, where are all these goons coming from? I like the way when you're in the water, actually, you get that nice little water ripple effect under you. It's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. But yes, these these goons, they just fall in their thousands. Don't they have families? Don't they have homes, children, wives, husbands to go home to? Well, I mean, obviously they don't have anyone to go home to because they're dead. But, you know, you got to think about these things. No one ever appreciates that in war, you know? Ooh, nice. Medicare. But if we die, there are no continues in this mode. If we die, we die. As Dolph Lundgren would say, if he dies, he dies. Now, we have our friendly Harrier back again. But we are not going to use our machine gun, uh, our M-bombs, if we can hold, uh, help it. I can't even talk today. Been at work. That's my excuse. And I was late for work as well. Which sucked even more. I was sleeping in bed and the boss phoned me up and he's like, oh, are you nearly here? I was like, uh, um, yes, yes, I am nearly here. Shit, someone, possibly me, forgot to set their alarm. God damn it. Anyway, that doesn't stop me from murderizing enemies. 
Nothing ruins your day by starting it late for work. Yay, we've got some speed shoes. You can see the difference the speed shoes makes. It makes a huge difference. There's the shop. Run. Ah. I've heard about you. I'll give you a hand. Burner joined your crew. So yes, we now have Burner and uh, we can buy these things. Top secret information is a waste of time. It just gives you a tip. We don't need tips. Um, this extends your life gauge to the maximum. Yeah, I, hmm, I think you can only have one of these per dude. And when you buy it, you have to choose who gets it. I'm going to give it to Burner. And then I'm going to grab the health kit and give it to Rifle. What a stupid name that is, Rifle, as well. I mean, maybe I shouldn't say too much. You might be listening. Um, who's going to carry it? Let's get Burner armed a little bit. Now, we can go into our handy menu here and switch between our dudes. So we're going to use Burner because he's just a badass, basically. Now, can I... Yeah, you can actually pick it up with uh, Burner. Okay, I wasn't sure if in this mode you could only have one life up. Seems a bit silly, but no. Can confirm multiple life ups are available. These fucking ninja knife guys are really annoying as well. I just kind of want to take their knife and stick it up their ass sideways. Because they just get cheeky free hits on you. These little avenues are quite dangerous to go down as well because of the bullet situation. And I don't know if these these APCs are actually worth taking out, to be honest. I also don't know how these guys actually hurt us by walking into them. That's like old school video game logic. And why... Oh god, Burner is down. Burner is down. Rifle must carry the torch. Yeah, so if one of your men dies, he's basically dead. You can bring him back by going to the shop. Oh god. Um, buying a potion. And some boxes have explosives in, which you would know if you paid some money <coughs> to that, well, paid some medals to that woman for that useless bit of information. That useless bit of information will tell you, oh god, oh, <laughs> that's it, we're dead. Oh no. Yeah, that uh, secret information would have told you that actually, um, some boxes contain explosives. Yeah, so I looked up some cheats for this game, uh, just to see if we could have a bit of fun and play around with it, but there actually, oddly enough, isn't any. Hmm, which was frustrating. The only cheat that I could find that was semi-useful, or the only cheat that I could find at all, really, was if you have a second control pad plugged in, you can uh, push a combination on the second control pad, and then you can select what level you want to start. But that's it, essentially. But yeah, this has been Mercs, one of my favorite games from yesteryear and you know what it still holds up wonderfully now it's um it's still good to play it still plays really well you know it's a little bit slow and clunky but the music and the visuals definitely are still appealing um and it's very much pick up and play you can memorize the levels as well there's a lot of uh, memory muscle memory and whatnot to this game and although it is bastard hard, and it is bastard hard, it's absolutely possible to complete it, especially on two-player. Although, if I remember correctly, I think two-player, you actually uh, share lives, I think, which is a bit of a ball ache, especially if you're playing with someone that sucks more than, more than uh, you do, you know? Uh, I know that from first-hand experience when I used to play this uh, with a couple of friends back in the day. <clears throat> sometimes I was the one holding everyone back, using up all the lives, and sometimes you'd uh, you'd have a mate round from school who's never played it before, and you'd never get anywhere because the other person's chumpsing down all the lives. Hmm. But yeah, I would say this still holds up rather well. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.